Today guys, I've created a sideways anomaly in Fortnite Creative. I didn't want to make the actual sideways because I thought it would be too easy, so I decided to create an anomaly which is a lot more mechanical. Believe it or not, this whole thing only actually takes up three channels, but it takes up a couple more devices than you might think. So here we have, we've activated the sideways, and I am under attack from fiends. Now, of course, we don't have cube monsters in creative yet, so I've had to use fiends, because, I mean, they're basically the same thing. The main difference is one's from season 6 and one's from season 18. Um, now, these guys drop ammo, which zombies in creative don't normally do, but with the new update to creative recently, we've gotten a new change on the elimination manager device, which we'll get to later. The sideways zone lasts for 1 minute, although it's 40 seconds, and every time you leave the sideways, all the monsters inside it instantly die, because the sideways monsters cannot leave the sideways. Once the sideways is complete though, uh, a sideways weapon of epic variety will spawn in, be it a sideways rifle or sideways miniguns. The sideways monsters can actually drop uncommon sideways weapons, uh, I just got unlucky during this test run, they weren't able to spawn them in. Uh, it is a 10% chance though. So without further ado, this is what it looks like in game, so let's see what it looks like mechanically. Okay, so now we're onto the mechanics section, now despite only using 3 channels, it does use quite a multitude of devices. Uh, the most important one though is absolutely the mutator zone since this triggers the whole event. When you overlap the first mutator zone, it will go on channel 300 and it will trigger every single uh, device that starts off the event. It will also disable itself. Now, the teleporter and the point light that it uses are only props. Uh, they just disable when the event starts. And after that, it will go and trigger the event effects, which are a sky dome. Now, the sky dome is the fog, the lighting, and everything that makes the sideways look like the sideways. Uh, with a light source intensity of 60% and fog density of 70%, uh, you can kind of get that sideways-y feel. Uh, and we're just using orange and this like maroonish brown lighting. And make sure you have use volume enabled. This white box that I've got set to 10 across every axis is uh, what kind of keeps the sideways in this zone. So you're going to want to make sure your uh, volume is enabled. Uh, the same thing goes for this mutator. The mutator allows the low gravity and the ability to kill all the zombies when you leave the sideways. It's got the same bounds as the sky dome, and this will also enable the seconds the sideways actually triggers. Uh, of course, you have low gravity while you're in this zone as well. However, you might notice when player exits the zone, it goes on channel 298. We'll get back to that one in a moment, since it's only used for one part of this whole thing. Okay, so on channel 300, when the sideways event is triggered, it will start spawning the zombies via creature spawner. The creature spawner will enable, and for the duration of the sideways event, the creatures will be spawning. Uh, this enables in 300 and disables in 299. Now you might notice the eliminate creatures when receiving from setting is set to 298. So when you leave the sideways zone, which is leaving the mutator, all of the fiends that belong to the spawner will just be eliminated. Of course this does spawn all of their loot. And also in the middle of this is the sideways weapon that you get for completing the sideways. This is, of course, your epic sideways weapon, being the rifle or minigun. Now, the timer device runs the duration of the sideways. For whatever reason, it's set to 40 seconds. This is meant to be set to 60. But this, de this device will trigger on 300 when the event begins, and it will disable on 299. Uh, when this timer is complete, it will trigger 299, which is what starts the whole end of event sequence. Now, of course, this device is the most important one, because otherwise the sideways anomaly would go on forever. <laughs> Which, uh, we can't really have, because otherwise it's not an anomaly at that point. And of course, when you start the sideways event, 
you get the push back the sideways text as well, which begins on 300. Now, the elimination manager devices are used for zombie loot. Uh, in the most recent creative update, these devices got a new setting to allow the device to track whether it's uh, zombies or sentries that drop loot upon elimination. This is really useful. Because using two of these, we were able to get confirmed spawns and randomized luck spawns. So the first one is a confirmed 100% spawn chance to give you ammo. And the second one has a 10% chance of giving you either a sideways rifle or a sideways minigun. I did this to compensate for chests, of course. And that is basically the way the whole sideways anomaly works. So that's it, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to go the extra mile, feel free to use code TACT in the Fortnite item shop, that would mean the universe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace. Yeah.